Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little mingle. Here's how it's gonna work. You are all going to uh, get up. You're gonna come up here. You are gonna take a look and you're gonna grab one from each category that you did not write, but that catches your eye. Then you're gonna go find somebody that you have not spoken to yet today. And you're gonna talk about um, what makes the best idea a good idea, what makes the worst idea a bad idea. Make sense? Coming up, grabbing one from each category, find someone you have not spoken to, talk about what's on your stickies. Ready, set, go. I would just love to hear really quickly three examples of best ideas and three examples of worst ideas. So let's get some best ideas first. Yeah. Um, like convincing the teacher to try to make a connection with the student and understand like the why for the behavior. Awesome. Connecting to the why. One more or two more. Sorry. Next time it happens, let me know. I'll come help. Oh, love it. Love it. Yeah. So kind of getting underneath. Yeah. Sorry, did I hear another? Okay. What? Validating the frustration. Yeah, so just like showing up and being like, yeah, it sounds like you're really frustrating. So like not making her feel bad for having a hard time. How about some worst ideas? Anybody have a funny one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, nice work not supporting the cuddle coddle generation. Oh, I haven't heard that one before. Cuddle coddle generation. <laughs> um, keep doing what you're doing. Consistency is key. <laughs> Sounds like the consistency is going well for her. All right. Beautiful. So part of what I hope to get across through this exercise is that sometimes when I think about resistance to change, I get really overwhelmed because a lot of the leadership books and things like that talk about stuff like um, you have to get, you know, 30% of people on board and then 20% of people doing this and then you can be the leader with the followers or there's things like you have to get the momentum and then do that. Like it all just gets really complicated to me and I get overwhelmed. And so doing something like this just reminds me that if we do kind of what we already do as teachers, right? Meet someone where they're at, build relationship and just coach them often you know, it's not like easy, um, but it gives us a path to change. And if we try to do everything through those relationships, through those critical connections, um, we can get somewhere. It doesn't have to be, I'm going to get everyone in the whole school on board with me, but just one person at a time. So I hope that that gives you some ideas about if you're feeling stuck, sometimes you just have to do a little bit of momentum. <laughs>